This presentation introduces three solutions that could help researchers publish in Nature or Science journals. A recent study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences reveals that breaking into nature or science journals is getting more challenging if a researcher has not already published in them. Publishing in nature or science influences the place of a university in the Shanghai ranking, and it would increase universities and researchers' impact and reputation. First of all, let us look at Shanghai ranking. The weight of publishing in science and nature is 20. Shanghai ranking processed nature and science papers in the recent five years period. This ranking gives a different score to each author regarding its role and byline position in the co-authored publications. For example, the corresponding author gets the full score while the first authors receive half a point. These two journals publish different documents including articles, review articles, editorial materials, letters, and other types. However, Shanghai Ranking only considers publications of article type. This type consists of about one-third of publications in these two journals. The scatter plot of universities' scores in publishing in nature and science in Shanghai ranking shows that a large number of universities get few points. This figure reveals that science and nature chiefly publish papers from a smaller number of universities. It also shows that those universities that publish in these two journals get a huge advantage compared to their competitors in the ranking. Shanghai Ranking in the ranking year 2021 ranks top 1,000 universities. As already said, the score of publishing in nature and science is 20. You will be surprised to know that only about 7% of the ranked universities get a score between 5 to 20. In the same way, the score of around 67% of the ranked universities is between 0 to 2. Here, you can see the top 10 universities in Shanghai Ranking 2021 with the highest nature and science indicator score. It is evident that some universities have more papers but get lower scores. As mentioned, Shanghai Ranking gives different weights to authors on a paper based on the author's role and byline order in the co-authored publications. Hence, both the number of publications and the role of authors on article document type in Nature and Science are important for Shanghai Ranking. It is much more challenging to publish in high-impact journals like Nature or Science than in lower-impact ones. For example, Nature has rejected more and more papers over time. In 2017, Nature only accepted around 8% of submitted papers. To publish in Nature and Science, we need to know what their editors want. One way to recognize what the editors of Nature and Science want is to keep ourselves up to date with these journals' publications. But in this way, researchers will face two problems. The first problem is that these two journals are multidisciplinary, so they encompass many irrelevant documents for a researcher. These journals publish papers from various research areas, including natural and life sciences, engineering, and medical sciences. The second problem is that these two journals publish a relatively large number of documents. Nature and science are published every week. From 2019 to 2021, on average, these two journals published 5,700 papers each year. To keep up to date with the latest related publications, a researcher needs to continuously browse or search the contents of nature and science to find relevant documents, which is time-consuming. An alternative solution is our Smart Alert service for nature and science journals, 
This service uses an intelligent algorithm to precisely select and send the information of papers mostly related to the researchers' interests and capabilities. A smart alert service has a built-in database encompassing each researcher's publications at your institution. The service uses this database to identify the researcher's past and current research activities. A smart alert recommends a relatively small number of related papers for every researcher based on his or her prior and current publications. During 2017 to 2021, Nature and Science published about 3% of the world's top 1% most cited papers called highly cited. During the same period, nearly 36% of article documents type in Nature and Science are highly cited. Similarly, around 54% of review articles document type are also highly cited. During 2017 to 2021, in Nature and Science, documents of the type article were cited 10 times more than other articles worldwide. In the same period, these two journals after Nature Communication Journal have the highest number of highly cited papers among all scientific journals worldwide. Therefore, keeping up to date with the latest Nature and Science papers in subject areas of interest will help researchers better understand where the field is going. From the information-seeking behavior perspective, citations are signs of information use because they are left behind after information has been utilized. Citations could also show a degree of relatedness between the citing and cited documents. Around 30% of highly cited papers have cited nature and science papers during the past 10 years. This fact indicates that those researchers that follow the current contents of nature and science have a better vision of the most active research areas in science according to these two journals' related fields. Although nature and science are multidisciplinary journals, they accept papers in some fields much more than others. In those fields, these two journals accept more papers in the most active research areas than the least active ones. In other words, like others, nature and science editors keep a watchful eye on the subject interests of their reader community. They carefully judge the relevance of a paper to their reader's needs and attempt to allow the hottest topics in the interested fields as much as possible. Hot topics are the most active research areas in the fields. These topics attract the attention of a more significant number of researchers and journal editors. One way of presenting hot topics is through a group of papers, including two or more. In this way, nature and science papers not only form about 7% of hot topics in science, but also about 90% of papers of these two journals are related to the hot topics in science. A smart alert service for each researcher also automatically detects and sends related hot topics that are more important for editors of nature and science. Keep this in mind that important topics for nature and science are also important for the editors of other high-impact journals. Hence, letting a researcher know and work on a hot topic will increase the probability of acceptance in nature and science and other high-impact journals. Can you publish in nature or science if you have not already published in these two journals? According to the study by Sekara and his collaborators, it is getting harder to publish in high-impact multidisciplinary journals such as Nature or Science if you have not previously done so. Collaborating with researchers or scientific teams who have already published in Science or Nature could be a solution to this problem. Before discussing this solution, let us show the characteristics of researchers and teams who have published in Nature and Science. Nature and Science chiefly publish the papers of the most influential researchers. 
analyzing normalized citations of the authors who have published at least one article document type in Nature or Science during 2016 to 2020 reveals that these authors receive 300% more citations than the global average. The normalized citations of authors who have published in Nature and Science are four. The authors with normalized citations of four or more consist of about 3% of the world's researchers. Thus, we can count on a relatively small number of researchers to publish in Nature and Science. Working with bigger teams gives you a much better probability of acceptance in Nature and Science. For example, during 2016 to 2020, around 22% of papers in Nature and Science were written by 2 to 5 authors, and teams with 6 or more authors wrote around 78% of papers. Analyzing Nature and Science papers during 2016 to 2020 shows that on average, normalized citations of the team's papers with 2 to 5 authors is 5. The exact value for teams with 6 to 10 authors is 7 and for the team's papers with 11 to 15 authors is 8. These examples show that larger teams are more successful than the smaller ones. Analyzing documents of type article published in Nature and Science during 2016 to 2020 shows that the percentage of papers that are results of collaboration among three and more institutions as the proportion of all papers is 71%. Thus, multi-institutional teams are more successful in publishing in Nature and Science. Analyzing documents of type article published in Nature and Science during 2016 to 2020 shows that the percentage of internationally collaborated papers as the proportion of papers is 61%. Thus, papers of international teams have a better probability of acceptance in nature and science. We could identify potential collaborators of your researchers based on their shared research interests. Here, potential collaborators are those researchers who have already published in nature and science. The main difference between our solutions and others is their cost and precision. The cost of using is low mainly because we already have a research profile for each researcher and we continuously update these profiles. The precision of our solutions is higher because their cornerstones are the researchers' profiles. These profiles include the research interests and background of each researcher. Hence, for example, the content of an alert is entirely different from one researcher to another. We trace and collect publications of researchers in international journals and conferences. These profiles help us precisely assign each paper and topic to a researcher. It also helps us to find the potential collaborators for each researcher precisely.